Hey guys, welcome to your math lesson for today. Um, we are doing module six, lesson one. So know that, notice that this is a brand new module. Um, so that means it is a brand new topic. So let's begin. Let's say you have 10 bags of rice. Okay. You have 10 bags of rice and all the bags are the same weight. Okay, so there's 10 bags of rice and all the bags weigh the same thing. All together, The bags weigh one kilogram. Okay, so here are my three bullet points. 10 bags of rice. All the bags are the same weight and all together the bags are one kilogram. So I'm gonna represent this information as a tape diagram. So I'm going to start by drawing the tape diagram. And then I'm gonna section this into 10 um, sections. Now take a second and think, why am I sectioning it into 10 sections? So if you said that I was sectioning this into 10 sections because um, there are 10 bags of rice, then you are right. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 bags of rice. Now I'm gonna label this as one kilogram or one kg. Now think about this for a second. Why am I labeling the, these 10 bags as one kilogram? Now if you said it was because all together the bags equal one kilogram, then you are right. So I wanna know, what does one bag, I know 10 bags equal one kilogram, but what does one bag equal? Well, one bag is one out of 10 um, bags. So one bag would equal one tenth kilogram. If one kilogram equals 10 bags or 10 out of 10, so 10, tens, then one bag would equal one tenth kilogram. On a number line, this may look like something like this, where you have zero and one, and one is the same thing as 10 tenths. So this would be zero tenths, and then you would break this into 10 um, section. So it would just count zero tenths, one tenth, two tenths, so on and so on until we get to ten tenths. So I'm going to mark that down. So one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. And I can go ahead and label that just like that. Okay, so here's my number line. Um, very similar to my tape diagram, right? One tenth, two tenth, three tenth, right? I section it into 10 sections because we're talking about tens. Now, you're probably looking at my number line and saying, well, Ms. Lears, why did you write the fractions at the top and not at the bottom like we usually do? Well, it's because I want to show you something new. Now. You can write something as a fraction, but fractions can also be converted or changed to decimals. So I wrote my fractions at the top because on the bottom, I'm going to write the decimals. So 
I want to show you that one tenth the fraction is equal to 0 0.1 as a decimal. Now I say that because this place, the place that is directly after the decimal, so this is my ones place, right? My normal ones place. Then there's a decimal to the right of that, to the place directly to the right of the decimal is your tenth place. T-E-N, like the number 10, and then T-H. So one-tenth is equal to 0 0.1. Zero-tenths is equal to zero. Ten-tenths is equal to one. One is um, a whole number. If there was a decimal, it would be 0 0.0. But since there's a zero, we usually just drop it. Okay, so we have zero, um, 0 0.1. What would two tenths be? Hopefully you said 0 0.2. What would three tenths be? Hopefully you said 0 0.3. Four tenths, 0 0.4. Five tenths, 0 0.5. Six tenths, 0 0.6. 7 tenths, 0 0.7.